It is necessary to change the oil time by time in a combustion engine. We will go to analyze this aspect in this video. It's very common uh, that the manufacturer of the engine say yes, that it, it is necessary to change the oil uh, every 1000 hours, every 1500 hours, every 2000 hours. But is this correct? Really, it is necessary to change the oil time by time. Remember that this provoke uh, that we need to stop the machine. This provoke that uh, we spend some money changing the oil. And this provoke some environmental uh, impact that uh, it is necessary to analyze if it's necessary or not. Why the manufacturer says that it is necessary to change the oil? Uh, the reason that the, the manufacturer says are three. The first one is the contamination of the oil. The second one is the uh, degradation of the base. And the third one is the degradation of the additives of the oil. What I want to say to you is that uh, it is possible to fight in another way against this effect, the contamination and the loss of properties of uh, the base or the additives. Of course, one strategy is change the oil, but there is other strategy, uh, very good, very appropriate and uh, uh, very effective to avoid problems with the oil. How we can fight against the contamination? The first one is use uh, online filters. The second one is use offline filter, are filters that you connect against the carter, against the, the, the tank uh, of the oil. In the second strategy, the oil is circulating with the help of a pump and a filter. This offline filter takes the oil from the deposit and filter the oil and return the oil against uh, to the deposit. The most effective technique is the centrifugation of the oil. It is possible to install one uh, centrifugal uh, equipment, uh, absorb the oil, centrifugate the oil, eliminate the water, eliminate the solids and uh, produce purified oil and return the oil again uh, to the engine. Then it is possible to fight against the contamination provoked by the water or provoked by particles. Second thing, it is possible to fight against the degradation of the base. Remember that one uh, lubricating oil is composed by uh, two things. One of them is the base and the second one is the additives. The base could be a mineral base or a synthetic base. Then it is a good idea to use a synthetic uh, base because the degradation is very, very, very slow. Remember that there are uh, different types of, of synthetic oil. Our recommendation is use a polyalpha olefin according with the classification of uh, API is uh, group number four. If you use a polyalpha olefin or you use a very good base, the degradation is very, very slow. Then you can uh, add a lot of flowers to your oil. Probably you can reduce the frequency of the change of the oil 10 times or more. And the third uh, effect is the loss of properties of the additives of the oil. There are two things that you can do to fight against the degradation of the additives. The first one is uh, do partial change. Means that uh, it is possible to change, for example, uh, a quarter of the deposit and introduce a quarter of the, of the total amount. You can change only 25%. With this action, uh, you recover the additives. But the second one is easier, is add additives. It is possible to buy uh, a package with all the additives of the oil, replacing of the loose properties. Then the question at the beginning of the video was, 
it is necessary to change the oil? The answer is no, it exists other ways to fight against the degradation. And remember, if you use the correct oil, if you centrifugate the oil, you analyze the oil uh, very often and you add additives uh, time by time, it is possible that you can increase the useful life of the oil probably 10 times or more, going from changes uh, every 1,000 hours, every 1,500 hours, and reach uh, 10,000 hours, 15,000 hours between changes or even more.